Hi guys, hope you are all doing well. So, that's how the two crowns will look like after we are finished. And now I will show you step by step how to get there. At the beginning, I model a cap of about 0.4 mm thickness. Of course, you could use a different color on the step to evaluate the thickness better. It is always important to model the edges with a certain thickness so that you don't get too thin at these places later on. Now I isolate my index finger and hold it palatinal to the cap. Don't worry, it won't get too hot. Apply the desired length, even a little longer thickly to the cap. I pay attention to my desired angular features, round at distal and point at mesial. Also, I already indicate the longitudinal furrows between the mamelons. And now the same procedure with 21. Never forget to check your occlusion with the lateral protrusion and protrusion chewing movements. This has to be checked constantly using the articulator. Before we start with the finishing, I show you my trick for a smooth surface. I take a paper towel with oil and polish the surface. Next, the teeth are separated from labial and palatinal with a scalpel. My enamel cement border is cleanly soiled and my proximal surface is pulled down flat so that the papilla can nestle in. With a pencil, I draw the borders on my second and scissors. With almost the same distance, I mark the ridges on my first and scissors. I now divide my tooth into surface areas. The distal edge is rounded off a little bit. Mesial, the longitudinal furrow, is slightly deepened towards the incisal edge. All surface areas are shaped using a modeling instrument. Now I emphasize the characteristics of the crown with a surface structure. Do not forget the growth 
grooves. Finally, I beveled my inside edge. And this is how the finished crowns look like. I hope I could give you some tricks and tips and wish you a lot of fun by practicing. Stay happy, have fun modeling and please Subscribe if you like it. You Bridget. <laughs>